Louis C.K. in studio. We're checking out the fine video on TV. Boise State, right? Boise. I didn't see this live. You saw this? Greatest. I, I mean, it might be better. I've seen the top, what they what some people was writing as the top ten college uh, bowl game ever. Mm -hmm. This was uh, like number four or so. I, it was the best I've ever yeah. seen. I've never seen anything like that. They beat Boise State, who's like from Idaho. You know, it's up and coming. We don't squad. give a crap about beat. that. We're talking about what happened after the game. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> have to run it down. Yeah. We gotta yeah. talk so, about so how good playing, that college game was. Yeah, really. Oklahoma. It was. Fa you, you don't understand topic. how great that game was. So they beat Oklahoma. No, no, the guy who saved to. the dude on the tracks and then this game, how good this game it's, is. It's fantastic. And, and by the way, right. someone sent in a video of Moonraker <laughs> as far as the parachute thing it's goes. It's Moonraker where James Bond jumps out of a plane without a chute and steals it. All right, we're going to get into a bunch of things here. But but, uh, the, but after the game, after, yeah. they, after they won in this amazing fashion on the uh, Statue of Liberty play, right? Yeah. Then the, uh, the star running back proposed to... One of the cheerleaders. The black star running back proposed to a He's dude. barely black, though. No, no, he's black. He's, he's, he's black. black. He's not a barely black guy. Justin Guarini's barely black. There's it's not Mickey Rivers black. There's two different blacks, though. And he, he knits. There's, there's, <laughs> yeah. there's two different types of black that knitter. isn't really black. He's black. There's that's black true. guy with white features that's really dark. Yeah. And then there's this guy who has black features, but he's really white. That's true. No, this dude is black. Let me tell you. Oh, oh no, he black. won't be accepted. Her parents say it. <laughs> right. Let's ask her daddy he asked, if he's black. <laughs> he asked Lily Munster to get married. She's as white as you could possibly be. Yeah, yeah. He, he proposed she after looks the game a little there. Hispanic, he doesn't she? Nah, she no. looks like the all American kind of like cleaned up spicky sort of. I don't nah, know. She's kind of not even close. She's almost got some. Uh, what's her name? Rachel from Friends egg hair. Yeah, kind of yeah. that hair. She's got a Friends hair going. Friends haircut. Oh, country is. And this bad. is Idaho. They're coming. Uh, they're all like congratulating them. She's real tiny. No, it's funny. They're in New York and are being happy. They'll go back to home to Idaho. Oh, I'll be yeah. dead. Yeah. As, as somebody. Beats him with a bag of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking, boy? <laughs> You're in Idaho now. Hey. I don't know, though. I think he might be all right. Because, I mean, yeah. I don't have, you know, I don't have uh, racism in me, but I'm white, so I have the reflex. Like, I know. Of course. Like, I know. The You're race. Like, I, I look racial. at his face and I don't feel that sort of reflexive revulsion. Like, oh, my God, a white woman with a well, black guy. you live in New York, he Louis. Well, I know, you're from true. New York. Yeah, so it's like, you accept that. Yeah. We're watching the video, and then Anthony had this uh, thought in his head. It just instantly, like, like, as if, uh, yeah, I guess, when when psychiatrists say, "I'm just going to blurt out a word," and and you, <laughs> or I'll show you a picture, and you just say the first thing that comes to your mind. Like I look, I saw that couple, and just said, "She loves the big blank." Mm. Like, yeah. She just loves yeah. it. All right, uh, yeah. Mr. Kumia. Yes. Uh, you, I'm just going to say a word, and you just blurt out anything you feel. Uh, uh, yes. Refrigerator. Er. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, uh, and okay, Mr. How uh, would that be? Though? What uh, if yes. she did all this <clears throat> and went on ABC and defail, filed her family name, <laughs> and then they go to bed and he's got a tiny little one? Oh, how, how disappointing. Probably, probably disappointing. <laughs> to date <laughs> Honeymoon she, night. You think she already didn't test it out? Like, you think she's... Yeah, she took no it for a test drive already. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know when she became a cheer cheerleader too the father is probably like now sweetie stay away from the players because i know and he meant like the white players yeah like stay away from the players because they <laughs> like <laughs> Didn't even consider, didn't even the, consider yeah. the black even, players. Because I don't need to tell you no, that. No, no, I, I'm not. Well, that should be obvious at this point. I raised you, right? Stop no, it. No, well, because he must have watched oh. to see if he oh. might catch a glimpse of her on TV. Yeah, like, oh, no. He might no. see her in one shot, right. picking her leg up. Oh, he's watching. And then watching. all of a sudden he's watching a black guy make her And his, his last life. name is Johnson. Arthur. <laughs> really? Let me show you the difference with this peeled potato and one that isn't peeled. <laughs> you want to stay with the peeled potato, not the unpeeled. 
<laughs> dirty potato. It's a dirty, a filthy the, potato. The potato skin. Uh, you just want the inside. Uh, the unmixed. <laughs> you want the nice lily white inside potato, dear. The processed potato. <laughs> and then you guys. <laughs> when I say sweet, I don't mean uh, yeah. the yams. I no. mean the white sweetness. Of Stay away the from yams. The but then that's why. Then we segged into why you know Obama will never be president. Oh we yeah. Can, if we can't even accept. Can't this. accept that. They're making out on TV. They, they kissed like five times right there in that one shot. This country is not ready for President Obama nope. yet. Well, no. CNN can't even get it right. Well, How's CNN, the rest of the country going to get it right? CNN had a glaring little error yeah, the other day. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Obama been lying. It said, where's, where's Obama? <laughs> it said, where's Osama? It was supposed to say, where's Osama? Osama. Oh, they didn't give us a little update. It, it, wasn't like it was some, a graphic. It was, it was some, a graphic. Somebody typed, and then someone put it up and, yeah. and uh, approved it. It was during Wolf Blitzer's it was like show. A, but if CNN can't get that right. A whole corporation makes it. Yeah, oops. We made a glaring typographical error in our graphics department that we want to apologize for. We spent about... 40 minutes, like, a, a manicuring the title and, you know, uh, yeah. putting a shadow on it. <laughs> yeah, of course. You went, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Making it look evil, making the yeah. graphic look What's evil. That? <laughs> putting music behind it. <laughs> Remember, Wolf Brisson made that mistake during uh, Hurricane Katrina. Oh, Imagine they're the so poor and so black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like, so into this cheerleader. <laughs> so black. <laughs> the president's so black. He's <laughs> so black. So <laughs> he black. stopped before so hilarious. That was the next thing. <laughs> that so was so hilarious. hilarious. All right, hold on. How <laughs> funny, folks, is it's the funniest video you've seen. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We can't really start anything new here, so it was a good place to end it. Ah, uh, Patrice O'Neill, thank you so much. Jim Norton, Patrice, returns always tomorrow. a pleasure. Patrice O'Neill, who I've seen at least a dozen times in comedy clubs all over the tri-state area, yeah. at times. least, times at think. least. Hey, Why are you so bitter? I've that, seen you a many times. That was really a heavy white word you just used on me. Bitter. Like, That's thing is, bitter. Don't call me bitter. Are you bitter that I haven't seen you? He's sweet. I did promise I was going to see you last time. I never showed. Well, that's you do a lot of promising. That's all I'm saying. That's the whole point. Is not that you come to see. I don't need you to come see me. But don't but say. But the first but, thing is, you know, you dry humped Louie, and he's like, "Hey, I was you know, at the man. last show." Dude, I've seen Louie. Oh, I've seen Louie one time just so like, far. One time. You know, it wasn't like, hey, Lu it wasn't any pillow talk with Louie. <sighs> it was just right to it. You know what they say? You take your own, count your own chickens and you shove them up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good old saying. Look after your own I have to remember that. I've then. seen Louis C.K. one lousy time. Well, that hurt. You said you had a lousy time seeing Louis C.K.? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> terrible. Oh, I gotta just shut up. I never promised to go out anywhere to see anybody. Isn't that nice? It's perfect. It's, it's probably it's smarter. It's stress-free. And then they're surprised when I show up. Hey, yeah. Anthony. You, to, you, do, you did used to show up a lot, though, when you, yeah. you, your girl and um, Heavy Kev. Yeah, when Big Kev was big, Big Kev. When Kev was hard to be your friend. Yeah, he's a big guy. You had to always uh, have an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got to get out of here. Louis C.K.'s playing Caroline's all weekend long. Yep. Go see him. I'll be there this weekend. Oh, is that a promise? <clears throat> that is a promise. Mm, good. I and think I think uh, Friday Patrice. night. And That's gonna be my my. It's gonna be Louis C.K. Oh. instead of Patrice. Oh. <laughs> That's my next album. You know album. what? Please do that. Just yeah. some people just know there's an instead of. <laughs> I'll take instead of. Hey Patrice, uh, what are we promoting? Anything? <laughs> Nothing. And you know that already. See? And no, I don't know, know that for sure. Yeah, I'm giving you, you an opening coming up. Next Thursday, I got things. Next Thursday, he's got next things. Thursday, I'm gonna come. All right, yeah, Patrice you. will be back next week. All right, thank All you. Right, we'll if you're not over. joining us uh, over next time, have a great day. Uh, I do. Bye. So, shit, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, it begins now, bitches. Yeah, now we can curse. But there's children on the sidewalk. Uh, they shouldn't cups. be. They should be in school, those little motherfuckers. Hey, little fella. What's this little nigga oh, doing with this little white him. baby? He's adorable. Police. <laughs> <laughs> ask her what's going on with that. I ain't That's asking her nothing. It's a nanny. <laughs> it's just a black nanny I'm with a white baby. I'm not trying to protect place. white children. She could be kidnapping them. <laughs> in Possibly. LA, in LA, it's Mexicans with white babies. That's right. All the nannies are Mexican. Here it's Jamaican. Well, they're and in New York. It's Jamaican. El Salvadorian. Yeah. Yeah. Mexicans are like white people now in uh, California. Really? Yeah. It's El Salvadorians. El Salvadorians and South Nicaraguans. Americans. 
Nicaragua. 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 I heard somebody say Nicaragua. I said Nicaragua. <laughs> <laughs> you snuck one in there. I did. I didn't would sneak that, it. I said be, it. Would that be a double uh, entendre? No, that's a single entendre. Yeah, that Nicaragua. Wasn't, that wasn't even Nicaragua. an attempt to at sneak. No. He, no. He tried to throw that knuckleball right by you. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but you caught it, man. <laughs> a little chin music for you there. <laughs> a little chin music. A little race I, chin music. I, I probably, went sailing. They to keep you honest. I went sailing down the Congo River. Right. There you go. <laughs> Racial wordplay. <laughs> All right. Are we doing box o cox today or no? Uh, I think we're testing uh, the camera. We're right? gonna try to test the camera today. Yeah, that way, <laughs> that way we, we can uh, see the the expression on the people's faces. Yeah. I never noticed there's a hotel here. Where? Right here. The Buckingham. I oh. always stay at the Buckingham. Wow, I I didn't either. That's a Might hotel. be new. Is it upper end? Might be new. There are some real shitholes on this block. Opie stayed at one. What? You stayed at like one of the real shitholes on this block once? No, I stayed in the same hotel that was used in the Borat movie. Is that the one you're talking about? Maybe. I, I, I just like, remember you had cockroaches and the sheets didn't seem clean. Oh no, I had to rinse out my own underwear. Yeah, well, <laughs> what? That doesn't sound like the hotel's fault. No, it's <laughs> it made me shit my pants. I walked in. It was it sucked hotel so bad. Was I was shit. awful. No, I shit my no, pants. The deal is really fast. Uh, Ant and I signed this big deal in radio back in the day to syndicate <laughs> our show, and we we're finally entering the big time. And they had all sorts of articles the next day in the papers. So we went out that night to celebrate. I wasn't planning on staying in the city. I ended up getting a room at the Wellington because all the, the Wellington, other hotels were sold it. out. And I had the clothes on my body, and they were smelling pretty bad. So I had to, like, wash out my underwear and, and throw it on a radiator to dry it out. <laughs> oh. So I had something to wear the next day. And I'm, I'm in bed, and the sheets are smelly, and it looked like cockroaches and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, I'm reading Mouth about shit. how, how uh, we just how signed this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how great we're doing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Just and I was in a, a huge horrible deal. situation, <laughs> cleaning out my own underwear in this horrible the hotel. hotel sink. Anyway, whatever. Ah, uh, you'll hear it on a replay friend. someday. The brr, the long version of that story. Ah, uh. <laughs> that wasn't it. Ah, it was. That, that's the headlines, basically. <laughs> I turn the music off immediately. Good. That's how I want the show to start. <laughs> Fuck that music already. I've had it. With the rage music. It's called identifiability, motherfucker. Yeah, but you know something? Let the people have what they want, nigga. Stop trying to be a vanguard or a crusader. Just let <laughs> that fucking palaver shit start so these motherfuckers can get... It's like foreplay. It's yeah. like, you know what? Motherfuckers like to come the way they like to come. All right, give me a little bit then. A mm. little bit. Oh, look, he's in a panic. I can't do it. He is in a panic. He but doesn't know how to get it back now. Yet nothing. Well, now the time has passed. Now if you it, play it, it's silly. Identifiability, though, because it sounds like every... I mean, all radio stations have that crap now. Yeah. <laughs> enough of this palaver. We're crazy. But you know something? We'll say anything. We had enough palaver. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and stop trying to gotta talk over the music. Yeah. Well, that's what people fucking want. Do they? I don't uh, know what people want. You don't, I know what people want. either. You don't know. They wouldn't have been superimposing their ass in on Web Junk 20. If I know what people want, it wouldn't have been six people at the place I was doing my New Year's show. <laughs> oh, no, nobody had to know that. Uh, oh, yeah, right? Except for the six people. You could have kept that to yourself. At least it was a small you know, I, secret I like until the now. Share. We just realized that we have a dramatic opening for this crap. <laughs> and it's, it's so stupid. Yeah, you came in a little oh, late. Yeah. He wants to start. I think it should stay. Don't fucking ever give No, I was just like, enough of the music. I, want, I, I don't like when the music plays too long. But then, yeah, we, we always talk about this big dramatic ecstasy of gold that plays. That's this huge buildup, and yeah, then you yeah, get this shit. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, whoa, it's so important. Yeah. Such an important show. You get ecstasy of gold, and you get sirens, and then it's just us just with this important. shit. Very important. Important. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then you get like, hey, I stayed at a shitty hotel, <laughs> and I had to fucking wash the skid marks out of my underwear and put on a radiator. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was worth the dramatic Clint Eastwood Eastwood laser music? light Clint. show. Yeah, the Clint Eastwood music beginning. There's a laser light show oh, outside the oh, building. Yeah. Wait till you hear this shit. Wow. 
You're expecting a cure for AIDS or something. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just something. another shit joke. Yep. Give me something. Another dick joke. And All right. So where are we at today? God, I'm didn't just, we just uh, like leave the other place? That was the shortest talk. walk ever. I yeah. like it. It's not bad when the weather's cold, I right? told Louie right when we walked out, I go, this fucking walk is getting so old mm -hmm. <laughs> that we're starting to walk now. Before we're on the air, yeah. <laughs> so you'll hear like the, the Opie and Anthony uh, XM walkover begins now, and we're already like in front of the building. <laughs> we walked. We didn't care. We, uh, well, how many things fucking... that somebody pitches? Who came up with the walkover? It was forced. It was pretty much we're gonna we, tape we every to time it. we go over. Every time because something exciting has to happen <laughs> during time. one block. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't if something exciting was gonna happen on the same block every fucking day? Wouldn't yeah. news crews be <laughs> yeah. camped out there? <laughs> Let's be honest here, please. Out of all places to walk to, 57th My and 6th God. Avenue. 57th, let me tell you, between like 5th and 7th, <laughs> there is fucking oh. pandemonium on a daily basis. That's Steinway Piano Store is a Holy madhouse. shit, what happens out there that every bitch day? takes her shirt off every day. Get the news van down there, raise that boom, and I want cameras. Something's the about to happen. Like cologne. Hey, oh. uh, MSNBC is reporting that uh, we we have put out an official statement, America, huh? that we had nothing to do with Saddam Hussein's hanging. <laughs> nothing to do. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Didn't we kind of? We, I, I, didn't we kind of have something to do with it? Pushed it along, at least. I think we at least... We gave it a nice push. Put it yeah, this way. Little. If it wasn't for us, he'd still be with the little mustache shooting yeah. his gun off the balcony. Yeah. They ha they just put out a statement. We had nothing to do with the hanging. Are you kidding me? Maybe not the actual hanging. Yeah. Jesus. Not the actual hanging. We didn't pull the noose tight, but... No. We fucked the dude up. The reason the guy was standing yeah. there with a noose around his neck, yeah. we could have had something to do with. Yeah, a little bit. I think we gave a big hint at what we wanted yeah. to uh, accomplish. I'll be willing to go out on a limb and say, I don't believe any Americans were pulling the lever. All right? Yeah. There, I said it. <laughs> but as far as having nothing to do with it? No, we are a little ah. bit involved. A little bit. Remember shock and awe? Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of thing remember shock and awe. Remember uh, the first uh, war and before it shock started and, there. Before shock and awe, they played ecstasy of gold. Did they? And a little rage against the machine music. Saddam's hanging. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have nothing to do with it though. <laughs> was, there, was there ever a time where outrage actually meant anything in this guy? Like sometimes things like this, like that, just now is almost like. I don't even have the vocabulary to just describe what how, that I, like yeah. what that means like what? who put that fucking statement out? <laughs> what oh you mean that that they said that? Yeah, like yeah. it's just like I don't even it's almost like as comedians man you got to be like this, you know always social social commentators or mm -hmm. whatever and it just gets completely draining like you just go you know what fuck it I'm going to talk yeah. about marbles and and, and Why cheese whiz because I'm just so tired of this shitty country talking about like like just saying anything is there anyone that just saw that that went Whew, okay, good. Oh, well, yes. good thing we didn't good. do it. We didn't. Now we, 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 we a statement came out, and we didn't. <laughs> and he'll go now to work and go. You know, uh, we had nothing to do with the hanging. There's no. people who feel safer I, or less safe or less safe, according to how the the alert. Oh yeah. Like it's like okay, I feel a little safer yeah. now because mm -hmm. it's uh, when they boost that alert up. Do you go like uh oh? No, shit. I go uh oh I, when I go there. And I and I sneak on two uh, screwdrivers without a problem, or two, or I what look at different screwdrivers on a flight. Just, for. I hope you mean I, drinks, you know by the saying? way. I'm just gonna say, for real. I yeah. don't know if this is against the law to say. I just sneak things on to see if I can. Do you really? You are. are you you're out of your mind. Insane. Because they don't. Do they, really? they won't just all laugh and go. Ha, <laughs> no, Patrice, you no, nuts. Patrice, I mean, you got us again. Okay. I'll see you down at uh, the okay. Chuckle Hut. Ready? <laughs> you, are you ready what for this? You, Listen to me. I, I, I don't like. I don't like airports. So I. I'm so you very, bring no, weapons? I'm very frustrated because I don't have enough a money to on your fucking lawn. buy a bus. That's yeah. what, that's my my. Dream. No, I know that how that place. feels. Not being able to buy a bus is a now, big drag for yeah. most Americans. Because I don't want to so, fly. Yeah. And 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 do you realize that the the fucking butter knife, the shit they give you because of nine eleven, the food. Right. Yeah. No, the, the butter knife is plastic, the, but the fork is metal. No. Yeah. But the butter knife. Yeah. Is dangerous. 
<laughs> I have physically taken a, the butter knife, the plastic and one, flat, and cut yourself. And I've cut myself with the that plastic one or the metal knife. The first plastic class one. butter knife. You're out of your mind. They give me metal first right. in first class. You get metal yeah. knives, and, yep. and, the and that's where the terrorists were all <laughs> yes, sitting. They were all sitting the in first fucking class. first class. You bend down the the prongs. Oh, you're using some prison shit now. And you, and you poke a nigga in his tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like making shanks on in first class. All right, we're on to something nice, but we got OCD man standing there. Kenny, say what you have to say. He's so upset because I haven't. Uh... So the OCD could order. like it. Oh. Like, uh, I'm waiting for the order. I yes, gotta get wait. my order in. I have to stand here until they tell me if they want anything like or not. Good, good fellas. Why are you hanging over my? Can't you like fucking you vote? Bring yeah. the fucking check. <laughs> you guys need <laughs> want to bring the fucking check. Yeah, you need food? And put a bottle you over his some? head. I already wrote it down. I'm trying to write. I oh, just you're didn't right. Want to... Okay. So Patrice, could I get you, you drinks first? You really sneak stuff onto a not, plane? Not weapons, just things. Just little things that you would know could be a problem. That could be a problem. Like what? I had screwdrivers. I brought a screwdriver. A How big of a screwdriver? A baby, one of those do from the dollar store baby screwdriver sets. For like a eyeglasses? The one that goes from... He might, he might take the screw out of the pilot's eyeglasses, <laughs> right. and he can't see. Are you that serious? Way. The one that goes from There's one millimeter to five How millimeters. How big is the biggest one? The biggest one is about uh, one to four inches, uh -huh. and it can be held uh, in a... Poking way or a stabbing motion. Look, if you can you bite can... someone's eye off, if you really want to let, fucking let, fuck them up. Ready? Let, let me let me t let me. Tell I've you brought three ounces, three ounces uh -huh. of Crisco oil on a plane, and that's flammable. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Holy the thing shit. that's weird to me is Patrice O'Neill cutting himself. Going, this is bullshit. Yeah, I, cut, I pay taxes. I cut I cut the, Why am I allowed to cut myself? I cut the, Patrice is a cutter. I cut the meaty part of my hand, like the the, the you back should of my sue the airlines because you just, cut yourself and, with your fucking and, knife. And, 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 and Louis, just to see, because I I don't feel safe. It I like starts the, at the TSA. Yeah. Do you feel safe? Well, you're not gonna feel safe for knowing you no, let, me, let me tell you something. I feel safer now. Than I do when I, I I think back at how it was. Yeah, I it's, think it's safer it, now just because why would they try it? You twice? can still I, get I've a been, box I've had shit. on a guaranteed fact you can get a box. They don't let, need let to do it something. again though. They don't need to do right. it again. That's what. Do you think the Japanese could have fucking point. bombed Pearl Harbor again? <laughs> do you <laughs> absolutely I think, think? I think they could. That was so easy. Let's do that shit again. We do it again. Nine <laughs> eleven. <laughs> If they did, they if that's Pearl Harbor. So they, yeah. yes, they could have did it again if they fucking felt like doing it. No, they can't they, get anything. There'd be First no of all, point. if there are five guys with four-inch fucking screwdrivers, they are getting pounded by even the old lady sitting next to them. There ain't one motherfucker no. ain't gonna stand up and be like Super Negro in Harlem and, and, again, and fucking yeah. beat again, the shit out of everybody. Right, right with you. I'm on. This is going back. That can't work again. Going the airplane back one. To the conversation we had over at at, at Free FM. Yeah. It's television, and I do agree that that the fact is that 9-11 people, go, the fact is that we watch so much TV, it's yeah. like, we're going to fly to Cuba for that don't watch no more. asylum. You know what that was? That kept people from fucking doing anything? From doing hope. Anything. Hope kept people from fucking with hijackers. Yeah. Not anymore. Because now you don't have the fucking hope. You're thinking, no. you're going into a building, yeah. I'm dead, I'm fucking it everyone. Matter that you can't remember, top right. that. Right. Any, any other hijacker is going to be a hack now. It's right. going to be like, exactly. oh, the Empire State Building, wow. So yeah. what? Ooh. No. Ooh. Nice work. Do? We knocked down the two biggest buildings and you crack in me up America. With your three ounces of fucking <laughs> flammable. There's 65,000 pounds of fuel in those wings. <laughs> If I have just the right... He's got cooking oil. If I cooking just, oil. just the right wick... Oh, totally. Oh, Listen, wick! Crisco is... What are you can, wick I, in the shoelace? I can make a sandal bomb. You could make a fucking <laughs> nightlight from 1850. <laughs> what are you going to... You're going to walk to the bathroom with that little white stocking cap and your oil lantern? <laughs> Excuse me, stewardess. I am going to... And then the ghost of Christmas pass. And how do you get on the plane? The ghost of Christmas pass is going to show you that... How do you get it on the plane? Yeah, what oh, are you, you taking it to, in? You my to, thing, I, I just do it to see what they're really doing. You know what I mean? You're right well, your what is I can't oil. believe that's how you spend your packing time, putting Crisco oil in a fucking How flammable not like is Crisco, Crisco oil it's like, it's that like, it's going to make a difference? Do you know how slow it burns? They put it in... <laughs> 
You, you put, put it in a lamp. It, if I spread it on your arm. All right, let, let yeah. me. Uh, you spread it on my arm <laughs> while if he I patiently waits. Light it. May I see the pilot for a moment? Because I want to put some oil on his arm. <laughs> if I spread it on your arm. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're right. with you so far. Was spread it on my arm. And We're I go, you. sorry, sir. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. And then I go and I. Uh, the matches. Your plan is falling it's apart. Right. Yeah. You're allowed it's to bad. bring matches on a plane. You could bring matches on a plane. I just still love Patrice sitting in his little seat, fucking cutting his hand. And yeah, calling look at what I over. could do. Excuse me, do you see this? Do you, <laughs> do you see, see what, what I, I did to doing? myself? Yes! Did you do yes! that? Yes! A person can no, cut I their own I just, hand. I just had the plastic you safety knife. You didn't point it out to anyone afterwards? I had the pla- no, I just had the plastic... You just plastic, did it and got mad. The plastic safety knife. The plastic yeah. saving yeah. us from terrorist knife, right? It's, yeah. it's serrated. It's so serrated it's a, and dangerous. It's only part of the plan. And you ahead. can cut a neck. The, the, the big door on the pilot's uh, on the cockpit helps, yeah, too. Yeah, that not big really just locked plastic. door <laughs> that they really don't... You're going to jimmy that door open with your plastic knife. Yeah. Let me tell you what they've taken away from me. That door is open! When I fly when, first When it's on class, the ground... No, it's open. Those guys, no, I watch. The, the flight attendants. The flight attendants don't puts, do a secret knock. They no, don't go, it, yes, you know, do. the eagle walks up. They just go in and go, hi, You're trying y'all. to upset people and, then, and you're telling lies. They, I is, fuck, there no, is a protocol to what? opening. You're that, comfortable. There is a watch protocol to opening that door. A steward or stewardess will they stand. Put the, they put the, uh, the cart, the refreshment And cart, they will stand there when the pilot gets out to take a piss or something. The pilot has one chance to take a piss. I see it on every flight. Yep. And if the plane is I fly first class because I'm white, which means I fly first class. Right. The first same fare that you fly, do by you the way. Do you think that I see this from coach? You're not. No. I, no. You're not see? too well for the back. They block it off. I'm sitting up front. He takes a piss. This situation. And if he gets out in a couple of Al Qaeda flying plane, he goes, "Hope you had a nice piss, Arnold." <laughs> <laughs> and even if the cockpit door is open, the stewardess is in the way. Yeah, yeah no, they do. They do a coordinated the front. What is that old bitch gonna do? There is a contingency plan. To cut slow with someone the down. Butter Look, knife and rub some oil on and her rub arm. some oil. On. <laughs> they, Throw oil in the eyes. You don't get cut close with enough. A knife. <laughs> I've seen people. I've seen people stand up and yep. try to approach that bathroom when the student, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they warn you right away. Go back to your seat. Yeah. They don't wait for you to get up to her so you yep. can clock her in the I've face. I've never been told to sit down when I got to take a piss in first class. But, but when the yeah, pilot's when been the in the pilot, bathroom, when the pilot's in there, you when the can't pilot's get up. in there, you are not getting up and going t- toward the, the. There's the, a procedure okay. to it, and you're first, ignoring it no, because. Wait, no, no, no. First of all, see, this is this is white guy non-paranoid. This is why you're. No, weird. it's. This is. I'm the, the most paranoid no, no. motherfucker. This is why I look country, at every goddamn Arab on my fucking flight. I the scan the terminal. Is so fucked up because you guys are in charge and you're not. Fit your reaction. You're reactionary. That everything we do is reacting mm-hmm. to what these inventive Arabs listen, are doing. Listen, Think, but wait a minute. Patrice, wait a minute. White Louis. people have been in charge for a long time. And we know what we're doing. Fucking up. We know what we're white doing. White guilt is ruining everything. If there's one thing we can do, it's take charge this of the is, country and tell people. There what ain't one Nike print on the moon, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Nike. What? I don't white, what men, white men. White men. Your racism is misguided right now. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but hush puppies. <laughs> Brooks Brothers on the moon. <laughs> Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers. <laughs> listen, listen. This is the thing about the the, the about the the no, whole plan we're about, not the steward, enough? about the steward. About the steward is stopping. Okay. Right, now you, you you drive through a tunnel. No, you don't drive through a tunnel coming in ever. Well, I drive yeah, through, no, I, I, I yeah. midtown midtown tunnel. Well, I drive through the whole tunnel every Correct. day. There's there's five cops or whatever uh-huh. sitting there. Yeah, they sit in all the tunnels. Now mm-hmm. they they don't do the the tunnel shit. They don't check for fucked up shit a mile away from the fucking uh, uh, tunnel. No, they check after you pay your fucking toll. Then they look, then they go for suspicious box characters. trucks things like that. You know, all they I pull have over. to fucking do is pay my toll, and the guy goes, pull over, you're in a truck. And I go, F- go fuck yourself, thank you very much, and pat him on his head, and drive in the fucking tunnel. So, why do you think a fucking steward is under her plan? I can't just fucking muscle this fucking steward is out the way, if I wanted to. The still, the cockpit door is closed and locked. There's one pilot. Both of those motherfuckers. Pilot, it when... ain't the pilot and some fucking mechanic in the other seat. He can fly the motherfucker. When, the pilot, when it's time for the pilot to take a piss. 
Right. Why is, am I explaining this, this to a fucking <laughs> paranoid Negro? This is white guy. Yeah. With I'm in, this is white guy stereo. I'm bringing That's Crisco right. and screw everything's I mean. gonna be fine. It's under control. <laughs> and a plastic butter knife. Don't worry about the planes just, anymore. I'm the fucking planes are fine. The terror. thing is, just, Patrice, just, the reason why we don't worry as much is because being white is so awesome. Oh. <laughs> the benefits are so rich. It rocks. That even if we die tomorrow of terrorism, it's not that bad. Was you worried about? We, was you worried about Gatorade before this Gatorade guy did the thing? I don't even know what you're talking about. The, but I don't the care. reason England. that we can't. The reason, I don't drink Gatorade. No, garbage. the reason that we can't bring. <laughs> it's got bring, too much sugar in it. The reason we can't bring our fucking liquids on anymore. Oh, it's because of the guy. England That's what I'm uh, so threat. Was you thinking about that before they did it? No. Do you understand? That's what I mean. My point is that so you we're, think, well, we're I reacting think, to whatever. <clears throat> yeah, but you have to. you are totally irrationally insane. You have made yeah. you, your brain yeah. makes no sense. Yeah, Chris, your brain oil? does not what work else? properly. What else have you brought bring, on a plane? I don't really. Bring if you were running the country, oil. nobody okay. would be. People do you would be know, going on and all bandaged. Lie. Also, do you know those X-ray machines <laughs> that they send through? They don't have Crisco uh, meters. The, the Crisco <laughs> meter. They do have. And then they check your shoes for bomb. <clears throat> that, that rub they do. Yeah. You know what? I don't take my shoes. Well, now they make you take your shoes off. But I don't take anything off. It just it just doesn't make any fucking sense. I flew right after 9-11. I, had, I was on tour. When 9-11 happened, I was in L.A. and I was going on a, on a bunch of road work. And so I started flying as soon as they had planes going up. And uh, there was nobody in the airports. It was like just oh. running through these empty airports. Everyone's petrified. Everybody got, we all, any airline you flew, you were immediately platinum class in the lounge. Please. <laughs> they were begging you to fun. fly. And all of the whole thing that they're not even supposed to mention plane crashes or terrorism, yeah. that was out the window because the, the flight attendants, everybody were really scared. So you'd be on the plane and the flight attendant is saying, I'm really scared we're all gonna, we're all gonna die on this one. Like they were talking <laughs> oh, like that. Shit. And before every flight that I flew for like a month, the pilot would come out to the first class people and say, you guys are the last line of defense. <laughs> he's saying, Great. He's rich I'm fucking I'm a soldier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he says, I don't want you. And he seriously, I was in the first seat, like 1A. And he said, I'd appreciate you not sleeping, to be honest with you, on this flight, because uh, you got to protect me like i got to protect That's you. That's fine. Could I have a kosher meal? <laughs> yeah. uh, if I'm going to be uh, d defending you, I, I, I'm hungry. I need good food, plenty of it. Please. Let's, let's talk to an air marshal. Mike in Philly, what's up? Gentlemen, how are you this morning? Good. Good. Say, uh, I'm going to break down the third wall for you, Patrice. Right. Uh, you stay... You stand up and uh, and try to muscle one of the uh, flight attendants. I will peel your cap back. Yeah. So fast. Ah. Is that on every flight, to, sir? Every flight? Don't answer uh, that. You know, you can, I, you can I, I don't want to know. No, no, I don't want to fucking know. I don't want to know if there's an air marshal on He'd like to think that it's every flight. There's no way there's an air marshal on every flight. I I assume there is. Huh? I'm not able to answer that. All right. I thought you could answer. There's no way. I don't want an answer. Hey, I like to think they're well, sir, I'm, sprinkled look, that around makes liberally. Me feel a little hey. safer that yeah. that he would shoot me in the head if I tried anything. That uh -huh. that hey. makes me feel safer. Yeah. Hey, Mike, what kind of weapons do do the pilots have now? Uh, I'm not at liberty to discuss that. <laughs> <laughs> at liberty, <laughs> I think they still working. You know what I read in the? Yeah, I saw working. this thing on the I, news. I, yeah. that, <laughs> I think it's on the QT. I think they got some stuff up there. I now. saw this thing on the news hey. that freaked me out because when they were talking about arming pilots, people complained that the bullets would pierce the uh, the plane and, yeah. and let it. No, and then somebody on the new, uh, news goes, uh, "Well, no, a guy from the FAA said we know that's not true because often when we bring planes in, there's bullets all underneath." Because people that live in the airports shoot at planes Just all shoot the time. Under plane. <laughs> is that real? <laughs> yes, and there's always bullets lodged. It's just part of maintenance. Is pull the bullets out of the bottom of the plane because every airport has psychos living near it, shooting at planes. Oh yeah, and the guy just said it casually, like we know because that's oh. just part of. Uh... Oh wow! <laughs> Don't you have special you want, I'm gonna munitions? Give you, I'm gonna get, uh, Patrice, I'm going to give you a hint. If you want to take over a plane, take that plastic knife stand up and say take the plane down or the end gets it the what take the plane down uh, oh like uh, uh you suck. blazing saddle yeah. it's like blazing saddle oh, oh put the, put instead the of put the gun together <laughs> yeah. but she, did All you right. see where i'm saying how the country is not, 
No. He, for the, for the fact is, how do you not feel a little safer? He should have said nigger to, to explain that yeah, so we can all know it. The end yeah. what, what the all, fuck is that going made on it, here? And that made it depressing. Yeah. rejoice. That made him sound... It's uh, despicable, man. Yeah. Dude, uh, I, don't, I don't agree that with that. That would have been funny if he had a quote at the goddamn movie and I get what he's saying. Yeah, That's say the it. goddamn... Put the nigger down. Yeah. <laughs> Make a move and the nigger gets the nigger, it. Nigger, yeah. I don't think he's bluffing. <laughs> goddamn Kramer. Kramer ruined it I for know. everybody. Right, let's get out of here for a minute or two. We got Louis C.K. playing Caroline's this weekend. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> I also have an HBO special starting on January 13th. Yes. It's also called yeah. uh, Not Patrice O'Neill's HBO <laughs> special. I really am feeling like I, I can't find my HBO special to save my life, man. Mm. Just come up with a good title like Plastic Knives and Crisco. Crisco, oil. Crisco and mm. Plastic Knives. Yeah, Crisco that and Plastic Knives. That might be actually good. Thank you very much. Mm. Crisco and, and Plastic Knives. Which and I, don't, plastic I knives. don't bring Crisco on a plane, by the way. I, well, well, why would no, you? you? You eat it It'd at be home. be very man. dangerous. <laughs> Could smear it on the window and obscure the next passenger's view. <laughs> I, I would hate that. I would hate to sit there with Crisco smeared on my, my window when I'm trying to look at the beautiful scenery. Right, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. What uh -huh. if you rub it. your body down? Yeah, with Crisco. Uh huh. Naked. Uh -huh. Rub your body down. I'm trying to think ahead. All right, all right. Time. I'm with you right you now. You rub your body down yeah. with, with, mm -hmm. with something completely flammable. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> then you put... you, you and Odorless, totally odorless. And then you hope, <laughs> yeah. and you hope you it's not going to smell when you come through. And yeah. then you... <laughs> You, yeah. there's something odorless like a sure. grease or a Vaseline type yeah, of thing. hasn't been product. invented yet, uh -huh. totally. <laughs> <laughs> something not on the chart of the elements. And then, yeah. and then your clothes are a, a, a you wear, uh, you wear, mm -hmm. uh, like, Explosive silk clothing. Silk clothing, silk clothing silk very silk flammable clothing. clothing. Oh, yeah. You go on uh -huh. and you just light, light yourself, yourself on, on fire, fire. And just run through the plane. How about a fire extinguisher? Then you'll just fall down on fire. <laughs> yeah. Put you out and land in the next airport. <laughs> And, and, and you'd be laying there, body off under the tarmac. You'd be laying there with fucking third degree burns <laughs> yeah. on your body. God, I thought you'd be on the news. Good idea. They'll the be time. making fun of you here oh. in the morning. Did you hear about that asshole that lit himself on yeah. fire? Didn't yeah. hurt a I person. I just hug somebody. I go and hug the pilot with Vaseline. Mm. You can't get through fire. the door. You'd be knocking all ow. <laughs> Hurry, open the door. We wouldn't even acknowledge that we ever knew you. <laughs> no. just, oh. Hear what this asshole did. <laughs> You wouldn't even get that. I'm just you trying to get think. That respect. I'm just trying to think like a terrorist would think. Man, after Gatorade, you got to think these yeah. couple mm. these things. But Gatorade was pretty impressive. You got to think these things. You do you do, do you do the uh, uh, other celebrities? Because Jay Moore turned us on to this. The other celebrities that are on the plane with you, if you would get top billing if the plane went down. Oh yeah. 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 No. Uh, I was flying uh, recently uh, from L.A. back to Newark. And Sebastian Bach was on the plane. <laughs> and I'm like, ah. You wouldn't be mentioned. No. I go, I, I think I'd be mentioned just mm -hmm. because the post would have been able to do rocker Bach and shock jock. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the post would have loved to have yeah. done that. Although I think he would have gotten top billing. I was billing. on with Dan Rather once, so. Yeah? Dan Rather. That would have even been a footnote. Nah, nothing. Not even a footnote. Dan Rather. This whole big thing on Dan yeah. Rather. Not even Source Magazine. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I, I would have been You would have been James somewhere. fucking Brown this week. <laughs> even My your mom would have been, been like, did you hear about Dan Rather? <laughs> <laughs> you might have made King magazine. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. You might have made King. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get out of here for a couple minutes. We've been all over the place during this yeah. break. Oh, but we were talking about God. our credit card uh, theft because we were talking about uh, shredders. I have a shredder. Apparently, Patrice is a shredder. Cross you cut. like to shred. Cross gotta have the cross cut I have shredder. A shredder. I don't think I got the cross cut, though. You have to have cross you gotta cut. Gotta have cross cut. They, could, they could tape that shit right back together again. How long you that would take, though? Hey, hey. for you? To, to steal your identity? Oh, you, yeah. Nigerians? Yeah. Come man. on, they're yeah. out there. There's, yeah, a, but see, there's I, an African Obi somewhere. Uh, like, I am G Greg, Greg Obi Hughes. <laughs> no, and my point of view is uh, people have stolen my credit cards and then they reverse the chart. You know, I get the yeah. money back. You get it back. I'm white. Everything works out. <laughs> it works out. It's How great long to did be it white. take? Like, okay. two like minutes. Two weeks, you know, and then I go, oh, by the way, could you reverse those charges? Of course, Mr. Of C course, C Mr. We, of course, we, white Mr. We've C done that already. Yes. Problem? The best part during the break, Louis, like, and I'll 
I'll go, what? I didn't buy that. Yeah, you got to take that off the card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking yeah. a couple of my own purchases. <laughs> yeah, just a couple of purchases. Also, uh, I, I would never buy an iPod. Dinner at Why would I ever? <laughs> Bennington's? <laughs> dinner with, <laughs> dinner with my wife? I didn't pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody took my wife to dinner on that credit card? <laughs> <laughs> no, but this I saw this comedian, Morgan Murphy, in L.A. who did a bit about, uh, I'm just stealing her bit, but at least I'm quoting her. Uh, when they, some commercial for Citibank where they show a black guy saying, they thought, I, uh, you know, I saw something for a surfboard on my card, and I called, and ah. they told me, of course, we already took that off. And the message wow. is, here at Citibank, we know black guys don't surf. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> Mr. Rodriguez, of course we know you didn't buy those textbooks or whatever, you know. Just, <laughs> don't you get annoyed when they check on you, though? Like, there oh, are yeah. certain things I do all the time and use my credit cards for and then they'll like uh it's, it's been denied we have to call you have to call up uh, uh american express or something and right. make sure i'm like dude i've done this 15 yep. times that yeah. happened to me during this uh, christmas season did it they why cuz you card. used it <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> good point <laughs> yeah they no they your card they, off when you go shopping they explain yeah, you the go whole to thing you from scratch like well how do we know it's you yeah. Well, because I signed it, but anyone can use your signature. Well, why did you ever let me use this? Well, card? then why am I? Yeah, why am I allowed to do this? Well, we noticed you made multiple purchases in yeah. one day. Very yeah, suspicious. at the same mall. It's ridiculous. Uh, uh, around Christmas. When's I'm last shopping. Time you asked for a ID for you, with your credit card. Yeah, you don't. Ever. You don't ever. ask for an ID. No. Ever. You just hand them the credit card. Done. Yep. Transaction complete. It doesn't matter. Yeah, because people can steal catches it. catches it all, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I had I had mine stolen. You know, he, he, Jekyll yeah, and Hyde's here in New York. That's a great story. Apparently some guy, uh, one of the waiters over there, had this little device in his uh, apron. Oh, and boy. when he took your credit card on, on the way to the register, he'd swipe it into this device, which later he plugs into his computer, gets all the info, and he had a thing that prints up cards and puts oh, the information on the magnetic sure. strip. Yeah. So he used... My credit card to get like eight hundred and something dollars worth of cell phone equipment and, yeah. and stuff. And I called up Amex and they stopped it and, and reimbursed and wait, everything wait, was wait, done. Wait, do you pay attention? See, this is where I fucking up. <laughs> yeah, I'm so afraid of what my balance is gonna be. You don't. You even open look. it up and kind of shut your eyes. Like, and go, I don't. I don't even. Look. I don't fucking call my balance. So it's like I don't know if somebody you don't look no, at your charges. Too. Yeah, I'm I, saying I don't look I, at my I'm afraid oh, like to hear it go I down. You know, I, I don't have enough for every time I spend. I know I'm spending, so it's like I'm afraid that it's going down. So I don't check it a lot. Yeah. So somebody could steal my shit and I, uh, for a minute. You know? See, and, and I ch I check I check it now. I didn't used to. I would just look at the balance until I realized I was paying for AOL for four years every month and I hadn't used it. In four years, I I just Jesus. hadn't used it. It was like I was riding around on a bicycle with training wheels still on. I just <laughs> never like AOL was your first foray into yeah. the internet kind of thing. But once you were done with it, you, done pay, with it. you pay bills over the internet. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I have uh, porn sites that fucking bill me monthly that I haven't, <laughs> haven't jerked off to since the fucking 90s. Since forever. <laughs> yeah. Like, and a charge will come in sometimes for six bucks yeah. every month for some service. I don't know. It's like gm2b.com, yeah. and, and you're like, what the, what, what the I don't even know what this? that is. Yeah. But you, I might need it someday, yeah. so. Yeah. That's you funny. Let it ride. Yeah. Louis in the middle of a 10-year contract. He's <laughs> yeah, with with porn some sites. <laughs> keeping some company alive right now. I have no idea. Yeah. Is one guy still paying to <laughs> keep the company going? I watched Paris Hilton's video, uh, blowing what's his name? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. And that, yeah, I paid for that for a long time because I, I paid for it just it, jerked off to it once, never watched it again. Done. And then, like, I don't know, three years later, I looked on my credit card and oh, damn, I'm still paying. Still paying. monthly, every month. You got to check the charges. In Thirty-six though. months I paid, and it's a it's a process for you to get that shit off, like to not pay. Oh, it's hard. Yeah. Sites. Yeah. You got to go to PayPal and then reverse it, and you got to mm -hmm. send your code. And yeah. sometimes you just have to report the card as stolen, get yeah. a new one, and say you want a new number. Yeah. And then they can't charge that one anymore. Yeah. But then you got to go through the shit of calling the legitimate charges, and you got to actually call Paris Hilton and say, "I don't <laughs> yeah, want to jerk off to you anymore. I'm done with you, <laughs> you whore." Please. She's like, "Are you Let sure? Me off the hook, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Couple more, come on." Uh, uh, let's go to Dave in Vegas. Dave, what's up? Yeah, the golden ticket for not getting hassled with your credit card, U.S. passport. Everyone accepts the U.S. passport is your ID. Nobody, we're, but no, you're, you're we thinking were, in the wrong direction here. Nobody's wow. having trouble using their credit card. That's, that's that it's that, too easy. They, it's too easy for others uh, to use your credit card. 
All right. Uh, the golden. I love that there's a golden ticket. A golden I ticket. Got it. I got it. I you got show it. them a passport. You don't even need a credit card. <laughs> they just give you the merchandise. <laughs> Let's say hi to Eric in Boston. Eric. Hey, yeah, I uh, did that free credit report dot com. Oh, yeah. And uh, I got uh, apparently I got signed up for a membership for thirteen dollars a month. They got me like for seven or eight months before I figured out and finally canceled it. There are a lot of services out there, either on the computer or uh, some of these TV services, like uh, uh, the one with the chicks, Girls Gone Wild, that you don't just buy something. You're subscribing to something. Yep. So if you buy Girls Gone Wild, they show the tape, you go, oh, I call the number, I want that one. They, You were all of a sudden in this uh, subscription-based thing where they send you tapes every month, and yep. you're, you're billed for them. And then you have to box them up and send them back, and they make it real difficult to do that, and a lot of people didn't realize that. And it happens with things like Free Credit Report. Uh, other websites where you're signed up and, and it comes CDs every month. for a penny. Yeah, that was the original days. one back yep. then. Dude, I'm get, it, it was great when you were a kid, though. Yeah. You'd send the penny, you'd get a bunch of CDs, Mother screw kills it. kills you. Yeah. Well, well, why mother. am I getting this from Columbia House? <laughs> I, I used to know. have it mailed to like the neighbor's house, and then you get your CDs. Is that what you, you would do? Yeah, and then you don't have to worry about anything right. else. Jack it up to a federal crime. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about you, Mr. Fucking set the Puerto Rican murderers to your, <laughs> somebody to your neighbor's your, house? To your neighbor's on the house. fucking... <laughs> well, I, you know, I never thought of that. Wow, Jeez. what happens if, yeah. ooh, if they go to that house and like murder the whole be family? Like to those people. Oh, I'm sorry. We have they the wrong made. house that we were going to murder. <laughs> you can't murder the wrong people. Oh, they break in and kill the family. And my... Oh. Well, you got to explain now it. Now I got the guilt factor. But you got to explain what he's talking about, because that would happen during the break. You don't... Oh. Yeah, when you, when you have a navigation system, which a lot of people are getting now, mm -hmm. it's easy uh, to program in home. They have a setting. It says home. Yeah, a picture you, of your house and everything. Yeah, yeah it's a little house, yeah. and you hit the button. Your address is there. It takes you right home no matter where you are. Uh, but the, the bad thing is if someone gets a hold of your keys to your car, which usually has the keys to your house like on it. Valet parking. Yeah, it. valet parking, things like that. Uh, they hit home. Now they know where your house is, and they have your house keys mm -hmm. and your car yep. to drive them and your goods away. So they're taking your car for a joyride. For a joy to your house to rob it. You learned that uh, watching first Bueller. Uh, well, they didn't have a nav system. They just had a cool car. That's pretty funny. But, but it's true. Christ, it's paranoid. But, but no, if not. you put home in, they but know where you live. So put home a few doors right, away from your home. Show me one story where that actually happened. I've, I've not, but just because it hasn't happened doesn't mean it, it, it might not. Well, or it, maybe it has. It goes back to uh, Louis saying the f plenty of kids choked on uh, on toys. On toys. People who got but we're killed still that way. Here. Not around to um, But no, now, now really. you got me thinking that I put a few doors away from my house. Now yeah. you're gonna kill, get somebody as home because I get close enough to my house. If I'm uh, seven, eight houses away Why from my the house, fuck I know how to don't make... you just put it in the vicinity? Don't you know where you live by that time? Because it's a button for home, and it's easy. You don't have to just go like uh, put in an that. address. It's one button. But that's why I don't have an Easy Pass. I told you. Because they know where you were? Because you know, like sitting in fucking no, a line of traffic. So you like because, going into the easy pass lane and then cutting into the cash lane so I can sit behind you, you, you motherfucker. If you speed, if yeah. you're going through multiple tolls and you're and the speed limit is 55. They you, don't send you a ticket. Yes, check they that. do. No, they don't. No, they they, they're talking happened. about I, doing it. They yes, were they at do. some point, but they no, don't. I'm not. Listen, first but, of all, I'm getting tired of... <laughs> Of both of you. Well, then like, don't be on wait a minute, the wait radio. A I'm getting tired of, <laughs> right, getting tired of both of you with, you your, have to be here. with your dismissive <laughs> nose and no proof. It's just like everybody listens to white nose. I'm saying yes. And, yeah, but and the, the default, go, nah. Nah. The and default it's, it's shouldn't be parent. In your case, default is paranoia. Everything that could possibly you could that your amazing imagination can dream of <laughs> is going to happen to you. I've you done think people 90. should spend calories like thinking of okay, what if somebody <laughs> stole my cell phone while I was sleeping, took out the chip, shoved it up my ass, and used it to find me so they could rape my mouth with Something they stole from me when I was and, eight. And at, at this point, yeah, it's very you got to look out for that kind of thing. At Could this happen. point, it's very yes. easy to say no to you because you came up with that Crisco oil thing an hour ago. Yeah, that's now. true. You hurt your own. Not uh, to but you anymore. people have heard about the Easy Pass situation. I have driven between Easy Pass stations, mm -hmm. at, doing 95 miles an hour. And you've got nary a ticket. No, I've never gotten a speeding ticket. How many ticket. times am I going to say we're white? We they can do whatever we want. Your, yeah, exactly. check you your, get comes up you white. Check speeding your tickets check because your license points. There's a W on on my <laughs> statement. Have you checked your license points? <laughs> yes, exactly. Have you checked your license points? Yeah. yeah. 
I think you better check him again. Dude, I, my license you is squeaky. You think they're squeaky. just stealthily upping his license points yeah, without telling him why? Let's just, that's just, that's black paranoia. Why, you don't think I would oh, get something in the mail saying go to... <laughs> yeah. Look, you get pulled <laughs> over for no his, reason. Right. His new magazine. Again, Patrice, you get pulled over for no reason because you're black. That's how the fucking country works. Yeah. That's the way it's always been. So we have no reason to be paranoid the way you are. I understand your... Your, yeah. your lack of let me tell no, you what my white, lack of what, need lack, of paranoia. Let me tell you what white guys are now. They, you becoming the the women of the oh new my millennium. god because you're you're not working hard at at this this moniker that you that you have now. Mm-hmm. You're not you're lazy. You think mm-hmm. it's all about you, and I'm telling it you, it is about us. The whole country down. is based on white guys having a good time and not worrying. But they're not. First of all, at your you, expense, it's England, coming crashing in down. In England, yeah, you're a piece of shit because you're a gingered head. <laughs> I know that. That's why up. I don't live there. So, it's so, it's I know. I would a, never live there. In, in England, if I run shit in England, if I go over there with fucking. Do you? He's not, not a, really. They don't like you. Let me tell you. No ginger hair. <laughs> polite. <laughs> and he's a ginger oh, hello, yank. Nigga. A ginger hair. Yank. Anybody yeah. over right. in England. That's why I don't go over a there. A foot in the fucking ass. Really? Absolutely. Yeah, no, because Scottish. Irish. Oh, Scottish. That's Irish. why I'm not there. Scottish. That's why I'm here. We're just having skin that's relatively pale. <laughs> <laughs> it's a huge advantage. A huge advantage. And you know what? You to have the a, point where it's criminal you know how great my life is. It's a global crime how good my life is compared to yours. You have a slight niggery texture to your hair, too. I know. It's a little niggery. <laughs> and the niggery texture. Well, I'm half Mexican. Been. I'm I half really? Me- yeah, I'm half Mexican. Half? Yeah, and really? it does, that's how great it is. Wow. I'm half Mexican and still and I get all the white guy completely white. One all the white guy part. 100% Mexican. My dad is Mexican. 100% Mexican. Wow. Well, no, he's, his dad is Hungarian, but he's my whole family lives in Mexico on my dad's side. He's not a Wow. Here. My dad's a Mexican citizen. Holy shit. I didn't speak English when I was uh, seven, eight years old. I came here and didn't speak English. Spoke Spanish. Now this is some, why wasn't this, this could, on the this bio could, we got for you from it, Roland? Why did Roland send us a Louis C.K. <laughs> no, bio? Sent by the Louis way, Louis' career back at least six years. You better <laughs> be <laughs> careful. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! It doesn't matter. I look white. I it doesn't matter. A, I thought he was a Mick. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go see him on the stage. <laughs> hey, I'm a beaner. Hey, I'm a beaner. Come beaner. on, hey! I'm, I am way more Mexican than Carlos Mencia. Yeah, apparently so. More. He's never lived over there. I lived in Mexico City. You lived from when I was one till I was about seven or. Right. Holy shit! Wow, and that's where my grandmother is. Uh, you go down there, everybody, still? all my uncles. Yeah. yeah, my whole dad's side of the family is over there, so we go there. You know, about once a year. My, so, the rest, my sister. That well, is like Patrice telling me he's a fucking Kennedy. I yeah. swear to God, it just. A know, looking at weird. you, it makes no sense. Yeah. So well, C- Mexico is C- made K up of... The is for Spick. <laughs> <laughs> he took the SPI right. out of his fucking That's right. That's you right. sneaky motherfucker. I know. It's Luis, Luis Spick. It's Luis. That's what my dad's name is, Luis, with L-U-I-S. That's his name. <laughs> you motherfucker. Wow. Holy shit, Luis C.K. You are a counterfeit That's white right. man. I am. Very good counterfeit, though, because you look so yeah, white. One of the best. <laughs> he looks, he's the whitest That's the why I appreciate it. That's why I appreciate it. Yeah, see? Look at that. I'm He's living, living the life. Man's... Oh, it's oh, awesome. Man. So awesome. That is terrific. Wow. Hey, no, I went into a store the other day, a convenience store, and I got a bottle of water, and then I walk around looking to see what else I want, and then I kind of space <laughs> out, and I walked out with the water. Oh, shit. And then I'm in my car drinking the water, and I realize I didn't pay for this. And I realize that's because I'm white. Because they, <laughs> they looked at me, and they're like, He'll pay for something today. It'll even that? out. He's, he's contributing to the economy. It's going to be fine. When did you start saying I'm a white guy? What? At what age would you like, you know what, oh, fucking white? Call, call me white. I don't know. I but look I mean, white. At what point well, white, was, white, white, white is, a, is a bullshit identity. It's not a real identity. Cause but it's I, mean, nothing, I have nothing in common with other European white people. But I mean, at what point did you go, oh, I'm not fighting for to be Mexican anymore. Like, I'm not fighting for this whole Mexican thing. What do you mean fighting for it? I mean, like, like Alamo? You, what the fuck? When you're eight years old, you're not speaking English. You're, you're Mexican. You feel mm-hmm. Mexican. You, yeah. you identify yeah. with Mexican. At yeah. what point did you go, I'm now a white guy? I forgot how to speak Spanish very fast. I mean, I still remember it. I still can speak a little. 
But I was uh, young enough to just I, I adapted. I did what the, the second, other immig immigrants do. The here. second he crossed the Rio Grande, yeah. <laughs> he fucking went, went back and all. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, "Hi, I'm white. Hello, everyone. I'm now a white." No, man. the thing is, I was white in Mexico. The, here's the thing that people don't understand: is Mexico is just like America. It's made up of some black people and some white people. And brown people. The only difference is that they didn't genocide their Indians as well as we did yeah. in the United States. We got that job done. Yeah. So they that's why the face of a Mexican to most people. And also Mexicans. You meet Mexicans that look like me all the time, but you don't know they're Mexican when you're meeting them. Fuck. You, I hope only I the say, brown guys with a push I don't down say bad things all the time. <laughs> you <laughs> probably do. I probably do. People say, well, I live in L.A. for the last five years. And people say nasty oh. shit about Mexicans to me all the time. Oh, because they don't know I'm Mexican. You go, yeah. <laughs> Louis goes, I agree. Yeah, <laughs> damn those Mexicans. <laughs> Holy shit. That is wild. See, but he's, yeah, it is. he's it's a white guy. My Mexican grandmother, whose family has been there since sometime in the mid-1800s, there are Spaniards that came over. Espana. There are Europe, Europeans that came over to Mexico, and there are some Mexican uh, Indian blood in us, and some... Is that like black people, Jewish, though, saying they're Indian? For Mexicans to say we're Spaniards, we're no, it is Spanish. It is. There's Sp yeah. some of the, that's the because black <laughs> people like saying they're Indians. No, rich or white Earl, no, rich that, white, that, rich, that rich Mexicans, like hair quality. Rich like, Mexicans don't like some, to say you know, that they're uh, that they're <laughs> that they're Indians. To be yeah. in Indio is really dirty. No, I mean like American Indian. Oh yeah, like yeah. black people but like saying they're, do, they're they were only mixed with for... Sioux, and it's always Sioux and Cherokee. That's only like a hair thing. Really? It's not a hair and skin thing because mm. it was always good to be like that lighter thing growing mm. up. You know what I mean? And then you have the the the, the white people, yeah. straight white people hair. Yeah. yeah. So mm. any any black person with white people features, they'll say is is. See, Indian. I barely so make, I barely and... make it into whitey. I'm yeah. barely white. I'm like too you got Italian because I'm Sicilian. Too. Yeah. So you know, yeah, you got, know what happened. You yeah, watch, you watch yeah, true, uh, true romance. Moors, yeah. Your great, great, yeah, the Moors, great, great, great grandmother, Moors, grandmother which I don't doubt. I wouldn't doubt my great, great grandmother's just all taking that black cock. Fellow was up in Miss Cumia. Just banging the fuck out of my great, 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 great grandmother. And Iago was like, "Get it, nigga, get it." Just conquered. <laughs> Fucking my great, great grandfather just hacked with a machete. His body's laying there, and my grandmother's just being fucked by. Some more black cock. I know what happened. She kept no the baby. History. She and couldn't have hated it yeah. that much. She and kept the baby. That nigga had a Chesterfield right after. Yeah, yeah just exactly. fucking. That's it. Yep. I know my history, but uh, but as the years went by, I tried to whiteificate. That's uh, right. My family uh, whiteificated ourselves. Right. Uh, here in America, just, just by skin. That is trying to get that. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, that's we, that. Poured, we poured concrete. That's right. Fucking fucking skin. Uh, trying I'm to pour, American work that grape soda out of your uh, out of your bloodstream. <laughs> yeah. I'm more American than Louis C.K. Yeah, you are. And yep. he gets wow. to live the American dream. That's with, exactly right. Because I look white. Funky, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. His dirty wet back. His people. <laughs> that's that's right. Fucking <laughs> fucking up the spinach. That's right. Giving us meanwhile life. And meanwhile, here's the spinach field. The hilarious part of it is that anybody who's black, you can almost guarantee their family's been here longer than anybody Oh, hell white. yeah. Because everybody who's white just got here. Black people have been... They yeah. built the country for free. Built the country for Who'd free. Have for free. And now they get fucked. Why do they do this to us? Who would have thought that? Because you're black. Show. Louis selling me on reparations. Yeah. I want to give you some fucking money. <laughs> and, and it yeah, takes but see, my thing a is white if, Mexican man to make you motherfucking see that's what you did to us all again. But who my thing, though, is that if we show would have got to this point where we're calling him a dirty Mexican. Louis is a dirty Mexican. I know. And I want to give the blacks I, reparations. I know. Here's the way I feel. If we're going to give blacks <laughs> reparations, they should have to be slaves again. Like, if we're going to pay, Bro. basically we're paying them for the slavery. Right. Then they should, then they should accept the slavery. Is, 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 CK, is, is CK an that's offset? Gonna wash. Is CK an offset of some... Of it's Hungarian. Land? My grandfather who's... Hung, <laughs> this gets even worse. Wow. My, Hungarian who's, uh, my Hungarian grandfather was Jewish, and he left Hungary because they, they were of killing God. the Jews. Yeah. And he, he couldn't come to the United States because there was too many uh, Jews going. They weren't the letting them. They turned so, turn boats yeah. away. So he went to Mexico, and he met my Catholic Mexican grandmother, and Ray, that's the or that's the family I came a from. A Jew and a Catholic Mexican. Mexican. And so he grandma. didn't tell her he was Jewish because he he was so in love with her. Cause CK is Mexican just the, the first two hot. letters of your whole. Accent. It's pronounced it's CK, Jewish but it's spelled much longer. Wow. Wow. Hey, hey, here's some interesting news yeah, about yeah. the Jew oh. thing. Hey, I, I do yes. know where the, where the term kite came from, by the way. Ah, derogatory term it's for the, Jewish yes, people. I, where do, that I, I do know where that came from. Where? It is so when that, when people used to come uh, over on the, uh, you know, in the ships that, on Ellis Island, mm -hmm. <clears throat> a lot of people couldn't write English. 
So they used to make their mark, and the Jew's mark was a circle. And uh, the circle is called Keichel. So that's what they would just shorten it to Kike. The oh. guys oh, coming yeah? in and say, here's another Kike once they've seen the, the, the circle. You know stamped. where a nigger came from <laughs> originally? <laughs> there was some black guy being a nigger. <laughs> <laughs> so they called him a nigger. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he was being a real nigger, and somebody said, what a nigger. And that's where it started. It just was a, nigger was a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> he just like, this, mu- we're going to just, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't some wordplay. He was blurting out a sound, and it came out yeah. like that. Just the guy was being such a nigger. <laughs> that it fucking made someone say the word. <laughs> Oh my God, oh, man! That awful. What we're learning about awesome. derogatory terms That's and where right. they came oh, from. That's right. Wow, it's history. It's <laughs> really good history so lesson. I never knew that. Let's say hi to Jesse. Jesse, what's up? <laughs> Jesse, go. Yeah, hey, Jesse. Hey, hey Opie, I wonder if you think you're related to Judy <clears throat> since your aunt all the way May was known to play around with the Negro. That's true. All the way May, who was right, in boys, uh, League of Their Own. Played yeah. by Madonna is right. actually Opie's great aunt. Really, the real woman that oh, was all the way May. That's all awesome. the way May. So we yeah. just talk about how much black <laughs> Negro oh League. Oh my God, God. <laughs> she was taken. Oh my God, the ne- oh, that would Negro. Oh, Negro League. That would be a great mean, porno, by the way. The Negro League's in the it ladies' was all league. Oh. Oh. Satchel Pays plug Opie. Oh. That. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When She's when a when all the Josh white Gibson smashes his all the white men oh. were off She's to war. Western New York. She was being fucked by. Negro Leaguers and the Tuskegee uh. Airmen were just like fucking plowing uh. all the way May. And laid it down right on the fucking syphilis blanket. <laughs> I shared a nice story about my family history and it, yeah. it has come down to this. Not how to be all the way May. It couldn't have been the nice to hold oh, someone. Did you ever meet her? She hit a lot of home runs and stuff. I no. bet. You, that's no. great, man. That's I don't think awesome. so. Maybe I did. I don't know. She's, yeah. a, she's, a, she's a nun. In I can't believe yeah. Louis yeah, they, they fucked her right into the nunnery. Goddamn wet back. I can't <laughs> believe this, it. man. It's a that Mexican, is something. I have a Mexican passport somewhere. God Son damn. Of a bitch. In that, like, unless you tell people that, and you really got to explain it like you did. Yeah, no, it's You can't uh, just say, yeah, I'm Mexican. You, they'd be right. like, yeah, okay, uh, right. one billionth of yeah. a Mexican from 20,000 years people ago. People expect you to look a certain This way. guy's been yeah. on hold for like 20 minutes. Uh, Good we'll, for him. we'll clean up something here. Ed in Jersey, go. Hey, Patrice, I'm a cop in Jersey. You cannot get a uh, speeding ticket for uh, Easy Pass because it's a moving violation. And that has to be assessed to a driver for the points, and not uh, not just the vehicle itself. That's why you don't okay, get points when they take the snapshot. That's what I was gonna ask. They What's don't the... put points on your license when you get a snapshot for going them. through red light. But what about the red light situation? No points, just fine. What? That but, is you, no but, point, you still, but... but you still could get a ticket oh. for the fucking... Somebody oh, yeah. could take your easy oh, you pass. Can't. Somebody could take no, your easy pass easy and pass. speed with it. That's why yeah. they can't do that. Wait, we got a car. A parking ticket, a parking ticket, you get the actual vehicle, gets the ticket... And, which is a registered owner, but no. in uh, in the situation of a moving violation, those points it's a moving violation, so that the uh, driver has to be identified. That's why they have to be stopped. But anybody can be driving your vehicle. They can't yeah. just assess. I'm telling you, points, Patrice, you know? it's you. The reason you're getting speed well, tickets okay. in the mail is because <laughs> you're black, <laughs> and they got tired of pulling you over. You know how cops used to pull you over all the time. Well, now they just send you the ticket in the mail, and you pay, and you don't have to do the whole bullshit. Uh, Did you buy this car yourself, yeah. my skin but, and boy? But all you that stuff. too, very soon, hombre. Hombre. Right. <laughs> I'm a very hard to track Mexican, so I don't get that kind of shit from people. Some redhead. Mexican. Yep. Wow. That's Mexican up. with some Jew in them. With a little Jew, man. <laughs> to really something. throw you off. Wow. Yeah. Jewish, Mexican, Irish, English. I, I would have you pegged as fucking Blarney Stone kissing Irish. Yeah, man. my On mother's the... very white. My mother's white jeans were very On strong. the Aryan list, he's... He's oh, even yeah. more than I am. That's right. Two of you. Two, two parts of you. Jew, you would fuck it. If you went yeah. to prison... There would be the essays, and they yeah. would fuck you up. Yeah. You would have to go with the swastika guys. Yeah, oh, totally. Tattoos, oh, I would. It, yeah, Those you would guys, have to. There's more of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, yeah. That's amazing. Who's going to take a stand in prison? <laughs> oh. You, know, this, you shouldn't be, be like, racist. <laughs> yeah, William, Stop it. William Forsyth in uh, American Me. Remember that, remember that movie? Oh, no, shit. With uh, Edward James Olmos. Remember oh, that yeah, movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Damn, God. No. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly like him. I was just thinking American History X. You don't want oh, that happening. <laughs> Wow, Louie, that's that's fucking amazing. I'm it really like is. a, like yeah. a yeah. different dude sitting yeah. next to me there. He's yeah. a melting pot among himself. I need Nick himself. DePaulo to say he's from fucking Nigeria. Or from ah. mm -hmm. <laughs> he's blacker than anybody I know, that guy. Nick. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> fucking dark. And he resents the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 